some jazz we're gonna jump right to the fifth episode of in between the lines in this week we're gonna have mrs kaufman as guest of the week i'm gonna have a special friend of mine as the special guest and then we're gonna explore some uh, different culture fruits so make yourself comfortable and enjoy this episode oh i'm david varney and this is this is Kaufman. And today, students have um, voted for her to be on the next interview, and they have asked questions. So, you ready? Okay, I guess so. Okay, um, first question. How do you like teaching at Hard Northern? I really like it. Um, it's a small town, and I love the small class sizes and how I get to know each student individually, and I've had a really good time so far. Yeah, next question. What do you like most about it? <sighs> Um, probably how I get to know, even this early on in the year, I really know a lot about my students and um, their life at school and outside of school, and I think that's just really special. Okay, um, so why did you come here? Um, okay, so I was teaching at Ada last year, and then Mr. Kaufman was hired here, and then there was an opening that came up for sixth grade, and I thought, oh, it'd be great if we could all be at the same place, and our kids could go there, and it just happened to work out. <laughs> so on top of Mr. Kaufman, what's the craziest thing he's ever done? Oh, oh, there's a lot of crazy things that he's done. Um, well, okay, so, oh, what was his name? Uh, the Got Her Done comedian. One time he dressed up like him and went to, it was like a night, and or a Hollywood night that we went to for a middle school dance. And so he dressed up as that comedian, and then I dressed up as Katy Perry, so. <laughs> um, and then he just told jokes all night, so that was probably pretty crazy. So, um, could you do your fair dance move? <laughs> for me? Yep. Or for him? Uh, you. Um, I don't know if I have a favorite dance move. I'll just do this. <laughs> okay, um, do you like working here? I do. I really like working here. Um, uh, sleigh? Sleigh? Yeah, just All day. <laughs> Another day, another sleigh. Another day, another sleigh. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite thing about Mr. Kaufman? Um, I would say my favorite thing is how we can go anywhere and it could be a room of absolute strangers and he will get to know every single person in that room and he will have a full on conversation with them and he just, he never knows a stranger. So he always gets to know people. Okay, Riddler asked you your fair dance move. You can do it. Um, what Can you do Mr. Kaufman's fair dance move? <laughs> Uh, no. You'll have to ask him, though. He'll be able to show you. <laughs> he has all kinds. Um, how many push-ups could you do? Me? Oh, uh, not very many. Maybe 20, 25. Yeah, do you try them? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Not wearing the correct attire for that. <laughs> okay, what is the most difficult thing about teaching? Um, I would say the most difficult thing about teaching is uh, trying to make sure that each individual student understands it. Um, but also that they don't get frustrating and give up. So pushing them to, to strive for excellence and to push themselves to get better um, without pushing them too hard to where they just give up and don't want to try. So that's probably the most challenging thing. Um, what would you be doing if you didn't have this job, like teacher or anything? Oh, um, if I wasn't a teacher, oh, I know what I would do. So I would be like an interior designer or I would like take old furniture and refurbish it and I like to repaint furniture and make it to new, or I go into a house and I would paint things. I like to paint, so probably something with that. Okay, yeah, what's your favorite candy bar? Oh, okay, believe it or not, Almond Joy. <laughs> so it used to be Three Musketeers, but recently it switched to Almond Joy. That's right, um, how many schools have you been to? Oh, uh, quite a few. So I started off at Ridgemont, um, and then I moved to North Carolina, and I was in a school for two years in North Carolina. Then I taught at West Liberty Salem, and then I was at Perry, and then I was at Ada, and now I'm here. <laughs> um, what what Mr. Dance moves like at home? Um, so what is he like when he's at home? Yeah, Mr. Kaufman. Yep. Uh, he is always doing something. So he's either dancing or he's singing. He always he walks around the house with his phone on, with music playing all the time. Um, Christmas carols are. Um, full go at our house right now um, and so he's always doing that <laughs> and then if he's not doing something on the inside of the house he's outside and he'll be mowing he likes to mow the lawn at the at our house like 
and he lines it up so we have like stripes going this way at a diagonal or straight across and <laughs> nice. he changes it yeah every time sounds like a fun time and um <laughs> Uh, what do you like to do in your free time when you're at home? Um, when I'm at home, I don't have very much free time, but I would say when I do have some downtime, um, it's typically like if I'm cooking dinner, you'll see me and I have my phone like propped up and then have a headphones in and I'm watching some type of show, whether it's like HGTV or it might be a movie or something like that. So. Um, next question. Slay 4 plus 4. Slay 4 plus 4? Slay times 8? Or like slay... Play four plus four. <laughs> yes, that, that's a question. I don't know. In our day, um, nice I don't know what that means. Play <laughs> eight. <laughs> okay. What's your favorite grade? Like your, oh, that I've taught. It can be either the ones you taught or the one you've been in when you were at school. Um, I would say middle school was my favorite time. I think that it was a really impactful time. So like that six to eight mm. age range. Um, and I've I've taught sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade fifth grade and I really like the six to eight range range in there so okay, yeah. um, final question how are you enjoying the school I'm enjoying it a lot nice. so yeah even though we were new to the community and district it feels like we've been here for a long time nice so. um so um those are all the questions thank you for answering those and um yep. uh, continue to be uh, HM proud okay slay. sounds good slay hey, <laughs> yep another day another slay go bears go. All right, um, so I'm here with my friend. Alan. Alan, how are you doing? Good, how about yourself? Good. I'm good, thank you. So how old are you, which grade are you in? I'm in, I'm 11 and I'm in the sixth grade. Sixth grade, and you like Hard Northern so far? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you participating in any sports? Yeah. What are you participating in? Basketball, baseball. Mm -hmm. Baseball, not right now. Right now, yeah. And what's your favorite sport? You baseball. Any? Baseball? So you're ready for the season in, in, when is it, spring? Uh, yeah, I think. Are you preparing, running down some? No. Laps? No. No. Uh, you'll get there. Okay. Yeah. So, um, sixth grade. Yeah. Um, do you like school? No. No? No. The only thing if I like could... about school is sports. At least something. Yeah. I mean, yeah. But if there's one thing you could change in the school, hard or learn. Yeah. And could be anything what would you change um i would change it so we have comfortable seats like these seats here yes yeah, like these seats. seats these seats are comfy we should have those seats in here. we yes. should talk to mr Kaufman, right yeah, or mr halsey if he... yeah. yeah um all right so um halloween was a little time ago you dressed up yeah did you no sometimes but I mean, last Halloween, did you dress up? Yeah. And what was it? What was your costume? What I mean, was... I was something. I don't know what it was. Something is something. Yeah, I not thought it was enough. like a football player, but a baseball player. Yeah, there's a lot. Just different. make sure. Yeah, there's a lot. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> All right. Um, what is a hero for you? What would you say is a hero for me? Or what is a hero? Define a hero. It's a question, right? I know. Yeah. I would say that would be like someone that like a lot of people look up to. They're always there for somebody, maybe. Ooh. I don't yeah. know. No, yeah, but I think that's a good definition. So you, we have like Superman, yeah. Batman, Spider-Man, Iron Man, like the big superheroes. No, those are boring. Those are the boring ones? What's yeah. your favorite superhero? Um, I would say probably Spider Man, yeah, but he's yeah. the best one. No, but he said some other ones too. Those ones are the boring ones, like Iron Man. Nah, off to he's the side. dead. He's a dead anyway. Yeah. <laughs> um, but can a woman also be a hero? Depends. Depends. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And um, so do you know what you want to do when you're Finish with school. Yeah. What do you want to do? I want to go to the tank plant and I want to do like the painting on the tank, like sandblast them, everything like that. But it legally, not like. Yeah. Yeah. Like go to the tank plant. Um, There's a tank plant in Lima where they like make them. Oh. But they don't have any ammo. My, we got to see one of those. Um, 
if you could talk to you 30 years okay what what would you have to be what would you like to have achieved you know you say okay i talk to me myself in 30 years and if he is he has a family he has kids i'm proud of that man or is there anything if it doesn't have to be anything but okay i want to be married in 30 years or i want to be a fire fighter in 30 years is there anything that comes in your mind yeah 30 years you want to have achieved yeah what be in the mlb mm -hmm. and i want to do a lot of pig shows because i like oh. pigs I like to just show them that's good that's it that's i mean that's something yeah. so nice so we're going towards the thanksgiving you excited for that yeah yeah it's kind of the boringest one that's a bar what's your favorite one halloween halloween yeah oh. and you didn't even know what you dressed up but it's your favorite one yeah because you get to go to the haunted houses this year we oh. went to a cornfield maze mm -hmm. and there was like these 30 guys with all chainsaws and i was scared so i just busted i ran one dude he came he came out with like this long of scissors he just came running at me and there was like this corn on each side and i went flying into the corn took over like 20 corn stalks <laughs> yeah that was not fun i mean did you get hurt no did you have fun yeah yeah, but the, yeah but no the chainsaw guys oh. one of them hit me on the leg no. yeah. they allowed to do that no, they weren't allowed to, but I but fell because okay. because yeah. my buddy Jaden, he was behind me, he was pushing me, pushing me to get, try to get out of there. Yeah. Next thing you know, boof, face oh. plant. And yeah. next thing you know, I, I see these two chainsaw guys. One's walking right at me while I'm trying to get up, and then another one that was chasing us behind, yeah. they cornered me in this little corner. So I took the one dude, I shoved him into the other dude, and I just ran. Oh man, that sounds like fun, but also no, not fun. Not that part was not fun, but everything else was okay. Considering okay. we got there at like eight thirty, didn't leave till like midnight. That's you're allowed to stay that long. Wait, even no, no, but no. you did it. Halloween. Yeah, it wasn't my parents. It was his parents. Okay, so later. we won't tell that. Yeah, parents. we won't tell that. No, no, we no, cut they don't that watch. out. Yeah, 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 they don't watch this. They, okay, then. Yeah. See, let's see too. All right. Well, what were we saying that we say in that room? Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> Is there anybody you would like to shout out, say hello? Nope. A friend, family member, grandparents? Nope. No one? Nope. How about your best friend? Yeah. Ruben. I don't know how to say your last name. Just say the first name. Like, why, why don't you shout out your best friend? Who's your best friend? Brady Holtzberger. Oh, come on. I thought you'd say my name now. Oh, well, sorry, Reuben. Okay. I guess I'll shout out Reuben, too. All right. Thank you. I appreciate that, man. You're my best friend, too. Oh. All right. Thank you for being on the show. Um, mm -hmm. It's a show? It's a podcast show. It's Do I get to spin a wheel and get money? I mean, you can get the money after that. We, we can see if you're using it. Oh, we, we, we don't. We can't do that. <laughs> they, they see that. We do that. No, we, we don't. We don't. Do that. All right. Yeah, no, no. We cut that out. <laughs> All right. Thank you for being on the podcast. I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, and then be be polar bear. Yeah. All right. <laughs> See ya. <laughs>